you're trying to design your shop layout, first what you need to ask yourself is what kind of tools you need. For a shop like this, which operates on a professional level, you're going to need a lot of different types of tools. A table saw, a drill press, a joiner planer, a radial arm saw, a disc sander, and an edge sander, a band saw, a spindle sander, a mortiser, a chop saw, and a scroll saw. With the table saw, you mainly want to think about how much room you have in the front and behind. You need enough room to where you can have longer boards that have enough room to be in front of the blade and start cutting, and then enough room behind them to be able to clear anything that could be behind it. Another important aspect of a table saw to think about is outfeed tables. If you have a board that weighs a lot and it's longer, once you go past the edge of the table, if you have more surface behind it, it's a little bit for it to, to support it. Another aspect about a shop is in front of each tool, you'll notice these yellow pads. These yellow pads are, are textured paint that have been painted on the floor. They give you a firm and a steady and a grippy spot to stand because when you're in a shop, it creates a lot of sawdust and that creates a slippery surface and safety is a big factor in a, in a shop. This particular shop has a lot of people using it. So we have two table saws. Other things we have two of is two, two thickness planers. And then we have two band saws. One's a smaller one, one's a larger one for larger capacity wood. Another aspect of a shop is where you're going to keep your jigs. These jigs are either hanging on the wall or on the outside of the shop. These are two slits for the table saws, two tall fences for the table saws, a feather board, a spline miner jig, and a tenon jig. Another important thing in a shop is to have the additional items that you use while using a larger tool readily available, such as specific throw plates, clamps, push sticks, the dado set, your arbor wrench, and other things you might need, such as these crosscut slits. One of the most important aspects of a wood shop is safety, and a big part of safety is keeping a shop clean. A shop produces a lot of sawdust and wood chips, and one way to fight this is having lots of brooms, trash cans, and having a vacuum cleaner on hand. Another part of the shop that really keeps it clean is the ventilation system. This ventilation system sucks all the sawdust and wood chips out of all the machines that we use in the